Hi, this is Dr. Heather with Feather Communications coming to you today because I wanted to share a tip about how to answer the dreaded interview question, tell me about yourself. That is typically the very first question that an interviewer asks you during an interview, and that's probably the question that a lot of people have the trouble with the most because we're not used to talking about ourselves, we don't know what to say, and we could just go on and on and on. So I'm going to give you three tips on how to answer that question. The first thing is don't get really long-winded. Don't go on and on for two to three minutes because honestly, that's not what they're looking for. And if you start talking more than a couple of minutes, I guarantee you, you're totally getting off topic and you're not telling them what they want to hear. In addition to that, keep in mind, don't ever say, oh, well, what would you like to know? You should already know that. Um, they're looking for you to give them a response. So don't ask them what they want to know. The second thing is to steer clear of talking about your personal life. So don't start saying things like, well, I have three kids. They range in age from two to 10. All of these types of things because what they're going to hear is okay this person has kids they're going to be gone from work a lot or this person has kids it's going to cause conflict within the workplace whether or not that's true is not the point but that's what they're going to think so don't talk about things like that I can remember one interview many years ago when we asked that question and the person was going on and on and on about how they had recently gone through a divorce and they were having a hard time and that's why they were looking for a new job, etc. The company doesn't want to hear any of that, so stay clear of talking about personal things, okay? And the final tip, and probably is the most important one, is that people get really nervous during an interview, which is fine. It's completely understandable, and frankly, if you weren't a little bit nervous, I would be a little bit worried, because that would kind of mean like you don't care about how this goes. So the thing to do with that is to think about three different things in your head and just hit upon those three items. So what I tell my clients is to maybe say one thing about your past education, one thing about your profession, and then maybe one achievement or one accomplishment that you've had in a previous position. So for example, you could say something like, you know, I received my master's degree from XYZ College, and while I was there, I really discovered that I love the world of marketing. Because of that, I was able to work at one of the top marketing agencies in the country. And while I worked there, I was even more fortunate to work with a Fortune 500 company and while I managed that particular account, we actually were able to help grow their sales by 33%. Something like that. I mean, if you're in marketing, that works great. You already have numbers available to you. If not, you might have to be creative about it. The point is, is to keep it kind of short and sweet. Not so short that it's 10 seconds, but not so long that you're talking for three minutes because they don't want to hear that either. So just keep that in mind. Keep it professional and pick out one or two things that you think are important for them to know regarding your past career, your past education, and your past achievements. And do not talk about your personal life. I cannot emphasize that enough. And if worse comes to worse, just write, you know, if you take a portfolio in with you, if you take a notepad, whatever it is, just write down three key topics and stick to that and you'll be good to go. So if you have any other questions, let me know. I will also put these tips in the comment section and let me know if you have any questions about resumes, cover letters, or interviews because I'd absolutely love to help you. Once again, it's Dr. Heather with Feather Communications. Thank you.